When it comes to scheduling meetings with other people, the biggest obstacle you're going to run into is to find out whether or not that that person is going to be free or busy during the time you want to hold the meeting. What you can do is you can actually publish your free or busy times on the internet. Of course, with a little help from your IT person, once they have that set up, all you need to do on your end is to input the URL or the website address so you can publish your free or busy times too. To publish it, come up here, click on the Tools menu, go down to Options. On the Preferences tab, come down and click on the Calendar Options button. And then down below, click on Free Busy Options. And here, where it says Other Free Busy, click on that. And this is where you want to go to be able to set up to publish your free or busy times on a website. For example, up at the top, it says, look, you can publish up to two months of your calendar, whether you're free or busy, on a server. And then down below it says, where's that server or what is the address? Check the box, get the address from your IT person. It'll be something like HTTP colon forward slash forward slash then the like dreamforce.us or something like that. You can also have a search location to be able to pull in everybody else's uh, free or busy times on their calendar. So you can take a look at that as well. So again, get those addresses from your IT person. Basically, the only control that you have here is how many months out do you want to publish the times that you're free or busy. The max you can do is 36 months. And then down below, how often do you want to refresh that server? Every 5 minutes or 10 minutes? I mean, if you're scheduling meetings constantly or you want to be able to take a look at other people's free or busy times, you may not want to wait every 15 minutes but do something like 5 minutes. When you're finished, click OK. I'm going to click Cancel because I don't have an address to go to. And then click OK and click OK again and OK one more time. Now that's just a little setup on your end, but once it's set up, you should be able to click on New to create a new appointment, and then click on Invite Attendees. Click on the To button. It'll have a list of everybody in your global address list, including myself and one other person. Of course, I'm not a huge company, so we've got Carrie. Double click on Carrie. Click OK, and then be able to go on the Scheduling Assistant. When I go there, it's going to show a list of me and the other person I'm inviting to the meeting, Carrie, whether they're free or busy. In fact, if I scroll over, you can take a look here. That Carrie, if you look down in the legend, anything that's in gray is outside of working hours. And then, of course, anything in blue is she's busy. So that way, I don't want to schedule a meeting around this golf game. I want to do it sometime after, or maybe before. And I can do it one of two ways here. I can either do it graphically by coming up here and just clicking on a time slot. The moment I do that, it updates it down below from 1.30 to 2 p.m. Or I can come down below and change it here as well, and it will update in the graphic up above. Once I finish and I schedule a meeting, all I have to do is go ahead and click Send, and I'm done. Again, the whole purpose being is to find out whether the people you're inviting to your meeting are going to be busy, as you can see down below in blue, or free if there's nothing covering up these cells here, if it's just plain white. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.